Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Dragon Quest. So when we last left off, we had explored the Rocky Cave and uh, had some difficulty there before finally prevailing and managing to get the Warrior's Ring. That said, uh, it's time to continue on with our adventure and, well, first things first, we got some serious bank in that cave, we are going to pick up some new armor, particularly the iron armor, which is going to give us a... Or is going to give us a or the 14, yeah, 14 point boost to our arm or to our defense. Fairly notable, so let's uh, get that purchased and equipped. And now we have full iron equipment. A very nice uh, place to be starting from. I didn't want to buy; I wanted to sell to free up space in our inventory because it's starting to become a premium here. Sell the plain clothes. They're not really worth anything, but we're gonna sell them anyway. All right. So today, uh, if you had noticed, we're starting in coal because it's the closest location to our actual destination here. At that cave. Once we can get to it, and after defeating these not terribly challenging enemies. Probably should eat an herb. And then, ostensibly because we're in a cave, we should use a uh, torch, but really, if you know where you're going, this, this cave is very simple, at least for the moment. We will come back where it's a bit more involved, but for the moment, we just need to head south through this cave in order to reach the exit. And if we stick to the walls... And stop having to fight weak monsters, that'd be great too. Nope, it, there it is. Stairs out. And on to a new continent. With new enemies to face. So, with those new enemies to face... Well, more importantly... Uh, we need to make our way to the... Well, actually, let's first make our way this way. Come on, skeletons. Yeah, we're gonna pick you first. Quick and then tenderize. Even though most recipes will have you do it in the opposite order, it's all meat. It's all bone. It's not like you're tenderized. There's much to tenderize there. So cook it first. And... Yep. You can kind of see it there for a little plateau that it's on, but over there is the Dragon Lord's Castle. Without the three artifacts, we can't cross here. But that's not what we're here to do. Uh, we're actually here to take care of something else. And that something else is... Through these hordes of random monsters. I mean, I'm not complaining. With what I'd like to get to by the end of this video, we're going to want to get some levels, so... Killing things is going to be beneficial, but it's kind of tedious. Especially because these aren't too much stronger than normal, so they're not actually giving me much more experience than I would already have got. Ooh! Alright, so... Wolf, or Beware Wolves. Okay, so uh, another new enemy here. Beware Wolves are, well, Wolfmen, if you couldn't tell looking at them. And stat-wise, they have 34 hit points, 40 attack, 30 defense, and they give you 60 gold and 40 experience. There we go. Alright. Thou art come unto the town of Remolda, stranger. We bid thee welcome. And yes, uh, if you hadn't... For, if you, in case you've forgotten from about a video or two ago... Actually, I don't think there's anything to find here except that treasure chest, which is useful. But uh, not anything useful to do otherwise. We, what bringeth thee hither, friend? I come from I came from coal for the, to ply my wares, though it meant parting from... From my beloved wife, Claire. Alas, I cannot risk the homeward journey, lest monsters attack me. Seems I will not be leaving Remolder for a while yet. <laughs> but yeah, Remolder is a fairly important place. 
Greetings, I am a traveling merchant. Thinkest thou the townsfolk will suffer me to sell my wares here? Let us hope so. Yeah, you don't have everything I want. I mean, there is some uh, good equipment to buy. Knowest thou, wonder of the small shrine to the north and west of the village of Cole? Most curious old fellow doth dwell there all alone. Most curious indeed. Yeah, we already talked to him, don't care. But yep, all new kinds of equipment to buy. Steel broadsword, full plate armor, or more aptly, the magic armor. Which, in addition to just being stronger than the full plate armor, uh, with the full plate armor being a, from what we have right now, uh, an 8 point increase. Uh, actually, it's the same, but it increases our HP while walking. Very useful to have, but very pricey. As for steel broadsword, it's a 5 point uh, attack increase. It's not super great to have. That's why, I, uh, instead of waiting to come down here and buy that, I bought the iron armor as the massive boost to defense that that was going to give me, compared against that moderate, uh, barely notable boost to attack. Mm, felt more useful. Eek! Who art thou? What business hast thou here? Canst thou not see that I am engaged in the changing of my petticoats? Begone, thou levacious knave, lest I call the guard. Alright then. <laughs> By thy costume, friend, I gather thou art somewhere enamored with the great hero Erdrick. Though thou knowest thou of the mystery of the Savior's origins? Some say that Erdrick was sent unto us from a realm beyond the clouds. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to describe it. Prithee, who art thou, good sir? Thou art not of Remolda, thou, that much is certain. If thou art wary with traveling, thou couldst do worse than to seek lodging at the fine inn of my family. Yeah, we're good. I have more important things to spend money on here. Is that a ring I spy upon thy finger? Hast thou no shame? Such adornments are solely for the province of preening maidens. Hey. 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 Fight me. I'll show you what this ring can do. Uh, anyway. I'll talk to you. I am come in search of a merchant room to purvey magic keys, and yet, though I search high and low, I find no such man. Tis vexing in the extreme. Hmm. Well, that could be, prom that could be problematic. We need to find the Merchant of Keys, but he cannot be found. That's a problem. Legends tell of how mighty Erdrick did use the Rain's Bow as a bridge to reach this forsaken isle north and, west, north and west of here. They speak also of how he did descend into the darkness through a hidden doorway in the thorn room of his foe. Wanderer, if on thy travels thou shouldst chance to meet the descendant of the Savior Erdrick, promise me this. Promise me that thou wilt tell him all that I have told thee now. Verily shall it stand him in good steed. Hmm. All right. In here. Ah, it's happened in place. Can there truly exist any weapon mighty enough to slay the Dragon Lord? Any armor stout enough to withstand his wrath? I shall not dwell upon the Dragon Lord's coming, lest the thought of it prevent me from flying my trade. Oh dear. Doubt not that, they, that the fiends are coming, our town too will surely be laid waste ere long. O oh, holy goddess, deliver us from this evil. Thou art come unto a place of foretelling, of sight beyond sight. Thou, though thou speakest not a word, still do I know thy heart, thy purpose. Tell me, hast thou happened yet upon the most holy of shrines, the blessed sanctum? I don't think so. Then journey thee south from this place, there shalt thou find it. Alright, we'll have to go check that out. But, we came to this town for a reason, and we're having trouble finding it. Or are we? Oh hey, we're still in town. Hmm. -de -da -de -da 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 -da. Oh, Roderick, where art thou about? Wherefore tarriest thou so? And behold. Well, actually, there's some stuff in here first. More gold. And a seed of resilience. Which, predictably enough, increased by four. This is a guaranteed four, really? Yeah, apparently so. Okay. So that boosts our resilience by four. So we're even more defensive. We, we are in good shape, people. Anyway, what reason we came here? Thou hast. Hast thou need of a magic key capable of opening any door? One such wonder will set thee back a mere 16 gold coins. And yeah, we're gonna wanna buy. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
Okay, so I guess we can only have uh, a stack of six keys at most in our inventory. That's not a bad thing. All right, now if I'm quickly wandering along here. Hey, look, Roderick. Hi, friend. I am Roderick. What business hast thou with me? Hmm? My beloved await me awaiteth me elsewhere. Loom, that I have mistaken our our, our trysting place it again. Verily, I am doghouse bound. I thank thee, friend, for praising me of my blunder. In return, I shall tell thee something of use. From the baths of coal, walk two, walk thee two paces south, and look beneath thy feet. There thou shalt find a true treasure. Now leave me. I must cannot. I must concoct some manner of excuse for this most embarrassing blunder. Okay, so that actually makes us leave town. So I actually want to come back into town. Uh, wait, do we? We do, but that could be well. Yeah, we're we're not in bad shape here. We're gonna open this door. When rain and sun the twain do meet, the rain's bow shall a bridge complete. So say the ancient rhymes of Alephgard. The legends also speak of a stone betokening the sun, or betokening the sun with that which doth slumber within the keep of Tantagel's castle. It sounds like something we might need. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of our torch here. For a seed of life. And our HP has increased by six. And actually, we probably should hit the end here. Uh, yeah, considering we're almost at half MP and half HP, we don't have a good sage to cheat the system with. Twenty-four gold for a night, and so we shall get a good night's sleep. All right. Now that we have keys, well, first thing we'll go, well, we're going to want to eventually get back to Tantagel and a uh, place like that, but for the moment, we're going to head south to that uh, holy shrine that that uh, fortune teller told us about. I doubt we're going to be able to do much there. If I remember correctly, we can't do anything there for the moment, but something worth keeping in mind, and it gives us a chance to wander around this place with mm, gold golems. Okay. Well. I didn't think they came. They showed up here quite yet. I thought they showed up elsewhere. But yes, gold golems, as you might expect, are very good sources of getting money. They have 99 hit points, 48 attack, 30 defense, but they give you 650 gold, though only 6 experience. So yeah, let's see if we can do this. Attack actually is about the same as the, sp or is the fire spell then. Yes! Okay. That was kind of risky to do that, but 650 gold coins. I just nearly doubled my amount of money by defeating one thing. Though, you do saw it as a bit of a challenge, well, as much as this game being mechanically simple can provide a challenge, but yeah. Oh! Alright, so, Scarewolf. That is, uh, if I remember correctly, that's just an upgraded version of the wolf, if I remember correctly. Here. I didn't. I wasn't expecting to run into these guys here, so I didn't actually have that pulled up uh, readily available. One moment. And yeah, these guys are basically stronger wolves. They uh, can actually seal your magic. I'm not too worried about that. But they have uh, 38 HP, attack power 50, defense of 36, and they give you 80 gold and 52 experience points. Assuming they don't seal your magic, they're not too hard to defeat, though, thankfully. But I think we might be a bit in and over our, our heads here. So let's talk to this old guy. If thou art of the blood of Erdrick, the one true hero, thou must surely possess proof of thy birthright. Hmm. Then be gone. 
So yeah, we will need to find some uh, proof that we are of the Erdrick lineage. Skeleton Scrapper. Okay, and they didn't notice us, so that is actually kind of good. I don't know if we're actually up to fighting this dude. Uh, Cause yeah, he 36 health, 44 attack, 34 defense, 62 gold, 42 experience, and they can heal themselves. So let's. Woo! Cool. Also, I should probably eat an herb. I'm actually running kind of low on health here. Alright, so we're gonna have to stop by Remolder again to take out do some healing. Oh, crap. Oh! And yes, Fizzle, which uh, seals your magic. Still not super hard to take down, but with my current equipment stats, it's easier to do it by magic, but now... Okay, so Fizzle only lasts till the end of the fight. Alright, let's get the heck out of this he Let's get the heck out of here. Ah! Iron Scorpions. Okay. So these dudes, predictably enough, are uh, upgraded versions of Scorpions. They have no particularly higher defense and such. Uh, let me, there we go. Uh, 22 HP, 36 attack, 60 defense. But they give you 48 gold and 31 experience. That high defense, your best bet is just nuke them with fire. There we go. All right. And there are lots of new things here. Getting kind of wore out, though. We need to hit an end here soon. If I was so inclined, I could actually buy the steel sword, but... It doesn't give me that much of a boost. But really, what I want to save up for is the magic armor right now. And we are still a ways away from that. I think I'm going to want to buy an extra key along. Well, first thing first, that's at the item shop. No, wait, you're not. Where's the item shop? Oh, yeah, the item shop with the dude standing outside the weapon shop. That was it. traveling and let's actually pick up an extra key here actually no it's one of the things that we're going to be unlocking actually and get us an alternate place to buy keys from so let's not worry about that actually and let's just head on our way back up through this cave now once we kill some things And some walls here. <laughs> and we can now kill scorpions in just a single sword strike. One cool thing about the fact that it has you wandering all across the world, including through areas with weaker enemies, is you kind of do get that feeling that you are becoming stronger. Which, given that the game doesn't have much they can do, like you become, you, know, you get more skills and all that, it is useful. Anyway. Let's continue on our way here.
Which is, you know, it's, it's one of those nice things with RPGs, like you feel like you're, you can feel that you're getting stronger. It's always nice. Anyway... Tantagel, first of all, come into the actual castle town here, as there is a locked door. There we go. Not much behind it, admittedly, but, you know, there's a locked door. Let's open it up. And here... And yeah, you can buy holy water, which will allow you to lower the encounter rate. I'll probably make use of that before too long, but I'm not super interested in it for the moment. More interesting is the fact that we now have access. We can start looking around here. What's up, dude? A true hero would not stoop to petty thievery. Oh, I guess I'm not a true hero. Seed of agility. Oh. All right, I forgot. I'm... No, oh, there's a magic key. That's cool. Items. Seed of agility. Improve our agility by one point. Seed of Magic. It's MP by 5. 339 gold coins. Yeah, well, I'm stupid and petty thievery, and you can't do anything about it, because I'm a hero, so me. Alright, number 2. Yes, beyond this point at thy peril. Thou hast not the utmost faith in thy physical hardiness. Turn back before it is too late. And yes, let's uh, heal here for me. Yes, this is a damage tile. And you'll notice, unlike Poison Swamp, this stuff hurts. That just did 14 points of damage right there. And another 14 points of damage. Hi! That thou didst reach this place is proof of thy fortitude. But art thou strong enough to brave the grave of Galen? If thou wouldst try thy mettle, get thee to Galen home and there press thee upon the wall of darkness till the path groweth clear. Okay. Ow! <laughs> okay, back here. A pox on my memory. I could have sworn that the castle dungeon was around here somewhere. What do you got to say? Let us pray for the success of this, our hero, who striveth with all his might to deliver us from evil. May the light of heaven shine upon thee. I don't think that actually does anything. Oh! Oh! That's a full heal! Sweet! Oh, as in full heal, as in, yeah, even MP. Okay, cool. What do you have to say? Thou art young in years as I am myself, and yet, unlike myself, thou art charged with the quest of great danger. I shall remain here and pray for thy success. Tis the least I can do. When rain and sun the twain do meet, the rain's bow shall a bridge complete. Thus spake the foretellings of old. And there we go. Magic key. No, although considering I picked up an extra for one of the ones I used, I suppose I didn't need to buy that, but, you know. Okay, how do you get to there? There's a way to do this. Yeah, there's those stairs there. How do we get to them, though? I know there's like a trick to it, but I can't remember. And there's actually a thing we need there. Uh, let's see if I can remember this properly. Oh, and doors do not stay unlocked. Right, I forgot about that. Whatever. No. Actually, no, it's just stockpile. Okay, there we go. There we go. And first, let's loot this guy's drawers. 
think there's something in one of these. Yep, Seed of Life. Yeah, a medicinal herb. Less useful and exciting, but okay. Thou art Letty, art thou not? Praise be! Ever have I known that the one, descend one descended of the mighty Erdrick might one day visit me here. This stout chest doth host, thus hath the holy sunstone entrusted into my care by the most hero or by thy most heroic ancestor. It is needed in thy quest to slay the dragon lord, is it not? Then take it, claim thy birthright. I'm not more cooperative than that uh, sage out in the temple was. Um, hi. Thou wilt bring light unto our realm once more, of that I have no doubt. But long now have I kept my vigil here, I grow tired. Soon I'm soon must I take my rest at last. Alright, you go off to bed, old man. So now that we have this, let's actually stop here in town really quickly. And deposit items. We actually have no use really for the fairy flute or the sunstone at the moment. Nope, that's all for the moment. And then let's drop some money in there, because that way I can save up for that magic armor that I am nowhere near being able to purchase. Nope, we're good. Alright, actually wait, is there anything... I forget. Eh, yeah, whatever, we can easily pick up more. You have anything to say? The tales of the ancient times do tell of tower and golem laid a slumber by tiny fairies. Verily, there are powers in this world of which we have not the faintest inkling. That's a hint towards what you're supposed to use the fairy flute for, which we're not anywhere close to at the moment. Letty opens up the chest of drawers and rummages around inside. Nothing useful. And you can't look at bookshelves in this one yet. Okay, cool. Did you get out of this here? Yeah. Alright. So now that we've gotten all that taken care of. Well, it's pretty obvious where we need to go next. I'm just not sure we're up to the task yet. But then again, we managed to survive uh, in spite of that last time. So let's make our way to Gallenholm. Home of Gallen. Oh, hey, I get it. Hey, I, I, I never made that connection before. I think this game actually uses uh, true random encounters where basically every step there's a chance, there's a certain chance, and you know it's supposed to even out to a certain number of encounters, roughly, or like they counter every certain number of steps. Yep, uh, nothing that's going to do us any good here, so I'm going to just ignore that. And instead, use actually I'm going to talk to this dude again. You still need to get a long way to go, kid. No, get, get over here. Intendest thou to visit the grave of the great Galen? Know then that the sound of his harp is said to draw monsters from miles around. Think upon that ere thou proceedest. In my traveling aid, days off did I lay my head at the end of the fair Demdar in the south. Kind indeed with the proprietor. I wonder if he prospers still. Hm. The entrance to the grave of Galen? Forgive me, friend, but I cannot simply tell thee of its whereabouts. It must be found by thine own efforts, or not at all. Take it, foul thief! Licentious uh, Larsener, take it all! What need have I of money? Our world will soon be laid waste. What good will gold be for me then? I have a torch. I didn't want to talk to it. I wanted to open the treasure chest. Copper sword. That is of absolutely no use to us, but the torch is. Ah, yes. Could you please move? I'm going to go sell this. Oh! Oh, wait, are you moving? Are you moving? Are you moving? Screw you. I want to go sell this copper sword, because it's not doing me any good, except taking up space in my inventory. Let's convert it to gold. 
at his shop here. Ninety gold. Not even worth all that much gold. Yeah. There we go. Aha! Six hundred thirty gold coins. Oh man. Now we head back to Tantagel to deposit the money. Because this is going to be risky what we're about to do. This is a long and tedious dungeon. So, we used a key to open the door and she gave us another key. And there we go. Know that no man hath ventured in unto the grave of Galen and returned. Enter only if thou carest not for thy young life. Ooh, spooky. Actually, I am going to uh, make a quick trip over to the bank and be right back with you folks. I just want to play it safe here. Alright, and so with I, my finances a little more secure than they were before, let's actually go into Galen's tomb. And first things first, light a torch. Alright, so now that we are here, first thing, let's actually... Okay, that's where we're at. Yeah, best bet is to go this route. And it's, yep, here, here. Aha! Treasure chest! Another magic key, useful. 530 gold coins, and a seed of life. Alright, and then the easiest way is to just come here. Ah, Ledroman! Yeah, you're not much of a threat. Head straight down from here to here. Da, 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 da. Now another roll drone. How droll! How droll! Obscure puns are the best puns. There, there, there is no other response to what I just did here. And then this door, locked door. So good thing we get that key a few moments ago. And then we go this way. Uh, another pulse, or another fighter geist. Hmm, I was expecting things to be a lot worse here, though admittedly this is a bit of a marathon. This is the first, like the Rocky uh, cave from the previous episode was a fairly lengthy dungeon, but yeah, this is actually, and it's fairly easy to get yourself lost here. If you know where you're going, it isn't that bad. It just—it's really easy to get lost in here. But we know where we're going, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Hopefully, if I remember correctly, the lower floors also do feature some real nasty. That was risky. I probably could have died there, but I didn't. Oh, and even better, we got to level up. Level 9. Strength increased by 4, agility increased by 1, resilience by 1, HP by 4, MP by 7. Glow! Ah, yes. Good timing on that. Glow is basically an unlimited torch. You can use it whenever you like. So you don't need to worry about carrying on torches anymore. However, you need to worry about eating some of that herb and getting uh, you know, nice and healthy. It feels weird to me saying that, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so now that we've done this, we are on the right path. So the thing with this dungeon is there are four floors. The first floor is fairly straightforward, and the second floor is a very simple map, but there's a number of stairs that will take you down 
to the third floor where we're at now. However, to get to what we need to here, the uh, to get Gallon's harp, we need to go to the fourth floor. Oh, skeleton soldier! Yipes! Uh, he's a bit of a tough dude, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, 46 health, the ability to heal himself. Though he only has 12 MP. 62 attack, 46 defense. So yeah, we're gonna set fire to him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We, we, we are in trouble. Oof. This, this is a bit risky. I hate you. All right, cool. So yeah, that is an upgraded version of the knight. It actually is uh, very resistant, if not immune to magic. I forgot about that. And yeah, with its high defense, it's a bit risky to fight. Uh, so let's uh, chump down on some more herbs here. And nope, down the stairs. Okay. And so this takes us to the fourth floor, which is actually pretty straightforward. It's just walk forward. And... Mm. Okay, so an upgraded lunatic. Uh, I believe these guys aren't as bad as the dead knight, th or the uh, skeleton soldier there, but let me double check my notes really quickly. And, yeah, 35 HP, attack of 41, defense of 40, and they can heal themselves and cast Fireball. But they do give 95 gold and 58 experience points. Alright. And, yeah, that's... points of damage. Please don't heal yourself. Please don't heal yourself. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, but as I was talking about with the layout of this dungeon, on the second floor there's a number of... there's actually getting from the on the second floor there's actually a total of probably five stairs that go down only all of them will lead to the different spots on the second floor where there's really nothing but just loops and tunnels and things like that the one that i took of course took us to the correct path to get the liar of ire and and yeah if you use that it basically summons a monster and you can fight we're not doing that here because uh, these monsters are a bit tougher than I was anticipating for these lower floors. So we are now going to get the heck out of dodge. Scarewolf. Scarewolf is an uh, upgraded wolf. Uh, actually, wait, no, that's. Yeah, we ran to those guys before. Yeah, we can take this. go. Alright, cool. See, we could do it. I know we could. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, then we just walk around. Ooh, iron Scorpion. So you, I need to set fire to. Alright. Doing pretty good, and we're almost out of here. Now we just 
Walk up. Now be aware, Wolf. I'm not. I'm not scared of you. I'm just gonna stab you with my. Stab you with my axe. I, axes don't work that way. Ah, oh, so time to heal. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of here. Take these stairs up. We are now back at the first floor, where the enemies weren't quite as terrifying. Alright. Yeah, hold it, or fight Geist. Alright, we're almost up to 2,000 more. Was with what I've got in the bank. It's only about halfway towards getting that magic armor. That's going to take a while, but on the bright side, with how strong I am now, I have some solid options for I can grind to better get money, because I think before our next excursion, we're going to want to get that magic armor. But now that we have the Liar of Ire, which uh, now that we're in a safe, well, once we're in a safer spot where enemies do show up, get out of my way. Get out of my way. There you go, thank you. So let's uh, just show the Liar of Ire. In addition to, we need to take that to the Sage, which actually we'll probably go do that anyway. But if we use it, you know, a lot better than that, clit, than that kid, that's for sure. And it spawns an enemy based on where, you know, matching to the counter table for where you're at. So, yeah. Can be kind of useful for grinding, though the encounter rate in this is usually high enough that you don't have to worry too much about it. And plus the time that, like the time it takes for it to play that little musical bit will probably be about the same time span that you'd be looking at if you just decided to, you know, walk around in circles until something decided, decided it was gonna fight you. That was a wasted critical hit. Alright, so let's go and take this to the guy who was asking us to give it to him. Over in, uh, or over to the west of Coal. I'm sure you just walk through those mountains make my life so much easier rather than have to take this circuitous route around things. Actually, no, I don't even need to use magic to kill you. You just die. go. Alright, so now we have the Rainstone and the Sunstone. So, you know, we're making good progress so far. That said, it's now time to get to the real meat of this uh, adventure. To the, oh well, kind of the late game part of this adventure. Which is uh, finding the equipment of, pardon me, the equipment of Erdrick, or Loto, however you want to call it. And, uh, well, next time around we're going to be uh, doing some of that here. Though I think I'm going to take a break to do uh, some grinding before then because the next areas are going to have some strong enemies, including some mandatory encounters that are going to kick my butt. But we're going to be making uh, some good progress towards things here. Because with that, uh, next time around, we're probably going to be uh, tackling... Well, getting ourselves Lotos, 
Oh, is it shield or armor? I forget. Uh, one of the pieces of Loto's equipment. And making our way to the final town of the game. That's the plan for the, for the next episode, but as I said, I'm going to want to get some levels under my belt before we tackle those things. Because each of those does have a mandatory fight that you have to uh, engage in. And yeah, they're kind of some rough fights. But, well, you guys will get to see all about that next time around. Until then, though, as always, later, folks.